What's up everybody? Wilson here. I am going to try to reseat my tire again. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is uh, deflate the tire. So, let me just show you if there's any play in the tire. There is play in the tire. So let's bring this over here. Uh, let's do it backwards now. All right, so I'm going to deflate the tire. Get all the air out of that tire. There we go. Okay, all the air is out of that tire. Oh. All right, we're gonna inspect the bead together while it's deflated. This is the, the, the right side of the wheel. And when you look, like right there, right here, this seems like it bulges up here. So maybe kind of work it in there. Go to the side again. really off really off let's check the other side like everything is like really off of this seating so what we're gonna do we're gonna do a couple things first we're gonna loop up both sides and I'm gonna lay it flat down Okay, so what we're going to do is, I, I laid this wheel on its side, and what I'm going to do is put the soapy water into, into the bead, okay, with a toothbrush. I'm going to get it right, right deep inside of there. Right deep inside there. Get it right in that rim. Okay. Get it right in that rim. That's what that's what she said. Let's turn the wheel over. We turn the wheel over. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. And man, it is cold out here today. The weather we've been getting here in Maine, it's like, it's been sometimes really warm or too cold. Okay, so both sides have this soap. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna massage the bead. Actually, no, I'm gonna pump it up to 15 PSI and I'm gonna ride around on it uh, kind of in easy circles and uh, we'll be right back. Another thing too is the, the valve sinks right in the tire. So kind of makes it hard to leverage okay I'm gonna stop it right there so there's some firmness in the tire all right so I'm gonna ride this in the parking lot very carefully See if I can kind of even out the bead. Go left. I'm gonna try to ride straight. 
kind of seat it this way. Whoa. Left, right, left, right, left. Okay. So, shut this off, put it upside down again, and see what we got. So, got the wheel upside down. I'm just gonna inspect any play in the tire. Along the edge here and see how the seating is. The little lines on there match up. On this side, I think this side is fine. So we're gonna pump it up to the max tire pressure, that's what I hear. Uh, max load. So let's pump it up. Oh, 33 PSI. Okay. So the max load on this tire is 33 PSI. So let's bump it up to uh, 37. Let's try 37. Okay, so it's gonna be, at, I'm gonna put this at 37 PSI. Thirty-seven. Okay, this side looks. I don't know if you can see it, but this side is looking pretty good. Uh, flip it over. It's looking pretty good. I'm not seeing too much variation in the tire, so there's only one other way to check it out. Uh, still looks kind of jumpy. Seeing if there's any change. See, it looks like it's more on this side. It should be centered. You know what I'm saying? Ow. Gotta be careful of that. All right, so there's still some play in that tire. I'm gonna let out some air. I'm gonna bring it down to 28 PSI. So what I'm gonna do, guys, uh, I'm going to bring you guys with me on just very up and down up the road just to see if there's any play in the tire. Um, so we're gonna do a shot of that. I'll try to keep the camera centered I'll try to keep the camera centered best as possible. Again, I'm at 28 PSI now. All right, so I have this uh, GoPro mount that I'm gonna put on uh, the roll cage. So I'm gonna have it aiming down, looking at the tire. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we have the GoPro looking down at the tire. That way I can just freely ride it without worrying about the camera.
We'll go down the street real quick. Now I'm gonna stop at the stop sign, turn around. Yeah, the tire feels, feels a little different, more vibrations. All right, so we're stopped for now. I'm gonna end this video right here. And if I feel like it needs another reseat, I'll do another reseating video, but it seems like it's a little bit more planted. It seems like this is some slight vibration in the wheel again. But when I looked over the seating, it looked like it was fine. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to fuck that up. Um, I'm thinking about putting some Clark pads on here in a second. Um, but for right now, I think it's good. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, I'll keep you guys updated.